Hello, marketing and copywriting friends. The subject of today's video is copywriting PAS or problem agitation solution. You might be going, what the heck is that? Well, I'm going to explain all. Hey everyone, I am Robin the Copy Bitch. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I've been a freelance copywriter since 2002, and today we are going to talk about copywriting PAS. The PAS stands for Problem Agitation Solution. And what it is, is a framework for how we approach our copy. Because here's the thing, guys, we humans are hardwired for when we have problems, we want solutions. We don't like feeling uncomfortable, do we? And the great thing about this framework is you probably are already using it naturally in your copy. If you just are starting with copywriting or if you've been doing it a long time, we just often think about things as a problem, make it a little uncomfortable, and then we come up with a solution. Confession time, kids. Even though I've been doing this for over 20 years, I am a sucker for well-written copy, especially if it's done in this problem agitation solution format. In fact, what we're gonna do in a moment is look at a video ad that got me to buy this product, okay? And I'm not getting paid to talk about this, but this is a fire blanket from a company called Prepared Hero. And I saw the video ad on Facebook a few years ago and it was so effective in presenting the problem and then making me agitated about it and then giving me the solution, which is this fire blanket, that I bought three. I bought one for myself and I bought one for Mr. Word Nerd. We weren't living together at the time. And I bought one for my parents. And now that Mr. Word and I are cohabitating, all the fire blankets are here. And we haven't needed them yet, thankfully, but if there is ever a fire, you know, we're covered. So we're gonna look at that video in a moment. You're gonna see how how effective this framework is and just how it works and i will walk you through the different steps as we look at it but before we get to that i want to give you a little bit of background on copywriting pas it was developed by a copywriter many moons ago and the copywriter's name he's well known robert bly if you're not familiar with him i highly recommend you check out the copywriter's handbook i read this book when i was a new copywriter back in 2002 2003 and it was extremely helpful and the nice thing about much of what Bly talks about is it still applies today because good copy and persuasive copy is always going to be something that's evergreen so to speak and this particular approach the copywriting PAS is evergreen so now I'm going to turn it over to myself on zoom so you can see my screen all right and we're back we're looking at my screen now which is for an ad that I saw on Facebook a few years ago from this company called Prepared Hero. And I think it's a great example of problem agitation solution. So we're gonna watch it through once and then I'll go back and I'll point out where the problem, the agitation and the solution happen. And you can agree with me, disagree with me, but I think this is a great example, incredibly persuasive and just shows how this framework can work so well. So if you are a freelance copywriter, a content writer, a content marketer, you could very well be writing this sort of copy for video scripts, for ads, for email campaigns. It could even be used in a blog post for case studies, okay? So it's an extremely effective framework, which is why you should learn about it, study it, and try to use it in your own copy. So let's go. We're gonna look at this straight through and then I'll go back and we will kind of analyze it. If it hadn't been for one family oh my family, God. this could have been a family tragedy. Fire extinguishers are a great tool, as long as you can remember the steps for using them while precious seconds are ticking away. The truth is, studies show that 83% of us don't know how to use an extinguisher, let alone remember to maintain it on a regular basis. Or study the types of fire it can actually be used to. Baking soda works on a fire, but the reaction can be slow, and it can take a lot of baking soda. Often, more than you have on hand. Lots of people will tell you, just put a little on the fire. But not everyone is comfortable getting that close to the flames. There's always a risk of being burned, especially if the fire is growing. 350,000 house fires are reported each year. Nearly 3,000 people lose their lives. Sadly, a lot of these could have been prevented, but too many families believe that a fire is what happens to someone else. Or they count on methods that just won't work in every situation, giving them a false sense of security. 500 children die each year in house fires. You can't sacrifice their chance to grow up. 
to have lives, to have kids of their own, using methods that only might work. You need something that's recommended by firefighters across the country that's safe and works every time. This is the emergency fire blanket for Prepared Hero. When there's a small fire, pull the blanket out by its tabs, cover the fire with the blanket, and it's out. No complicated instructions, no gambling your family's future on unreliable remedies. It just works every time. The blanket's fiberglass based lining shields you from burn risk. It's reusable so it can save you money and protect the environment. And unlike some methods that might be too complicated or unsafe for some family members, everybody, you, grandparents, kids, everybody can stop a fire and save your home. Hang the fire blanket on a wall, inside a cupboard, or wherever a fire might occur, so you're always prepared to handle an emergency within seconds. The emergency fire blanket is NSF certified and was researched and developed by a team of emergency response professionals dedicated to crafting the best home fire solution available for your family. After being introduced in 2019, it was quickly applauded by thousands of passionate consumers happy to finally have a fire safety tool that is fast, effective, and easy to use. Friday night, we were enjoying a bonfire, and the fire got way out of control. Thank goodness I had the emergency fire blanket, or else it would have been a total disaster. It's like magic. I couldn't believe how fast it put out the fire. We went from a potential disaster to being right back in front of the TV, watching our movie in just a couple minutes. It was amazing. As a firefighter who loves his family, as I'm sure you do yours, I urge you to get this life-saving tool for yourself and give them this gifts. They'll appreciate your looking out for their safety. Take advantage now of the opportunity to get a bundle pack at a discounted price. You'll be glad you did. Click below for availability. Stay safe. Okay, so there you have it. A great example of problem, agitation, solution. And now we're going to go through and I'm going to point out where these, these aspects, this framework, the parts of the framework actually take place and we can analyze it and discuss why it works. Or I can discuss why it works. If it had been one oh my God. this could have been a family tragedy. Fire extinguishers are a great tool. As long as you can remember the steps for using them while precious seconds are ticking away. Okay, so right away we have a problem, fires. That's something that we can all relate to. It's something probably most people worry about in their house. You know, maybe you're not constantly worrying about it, but if you have a house, an apartment, no matter where you live, you could be affected by fire. So it's a universal problem. And he immediately gets into starting to talk about some of the existing solutions and why they're inadequate. So he first deals with, the fire extinguishers. And you know what? It's so true. Like, you know, you might have ex fire extinguishers in your house or your apartment, but do you know how to use them? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and it's a false sense of security. It's like, oh yeah, we have fire extinguishers. We have the fire alarm. But okay, but what happens if like you're cooking and all of a sudden like one of your, your pots on your stove just goes up in flames? You know, what do you do? Kitchen fires are just incredibly common. And the, apart the apartment complex I lived in a few years ago, there was a kitchen fire, you know, someone just, I don't know what happened. They left their stove and it caused a lot of damage in the building. And it was, it was kind of scary. So these things do happen. And so he creates the problem and you're going to see how he creates more agitation by showing us the existing solutions don't really work. Truth is studies show that 83% of us don't know how to use an extinguisher, let alone remember to maintain it on a regular basis or study the types of fire it can actually be used to. Baking soda works on a fire, but the reaction can be slow, and it can take a lot of baking soda. Often, more than you have on hand. Lots of people will tell you, just put a little on the fire. But not everyone is comfortable getting that close to the flames. There's always a risk of being burned, especially if the fire is growing. 350,000 house fires are reported each year. Nearly 3,000 people lose their lives. Sadly, a lot of these could have been prevented. Too many families believe that a fire is what happens to someone else, or they count on methods that just won't work in every situation, giving them a false sense of security. Okay, so notice how the agitation just increases. If you're watching this and you're thinking, gosh, you know, I have fire extinguishers. I don't know how to use them. Gosh, I didn't even know that they expired and I have to maintain them. This is one more thing. And, you know, now I have kids who are home during the day sometimes and they're using, you know, the, the oven and do they know how to use it safely or, oh my gosh, I'm worried about my elderly parents and they still cook. And, 
it gets you it gets you going it creates that agitation and we humans do not like agitation we don't like feeling uncomfortable or stressed or scared or worried and this this gentleman who's a firefighter does a good job of just you know agitating us not scaring us because the thing you have to be careful about when you agitate is you don't want to be manipulative you don't want it to be untrue but I think this video does a good job of balancing, you know, hey, this could happen and it's scary. And yes, you have some existing methods that could work if you know how to use a fire extinguisher, if you have enough baking soda, or if you're comfortable putting a lid on it and the fire is small enough that you can do so. But he's saying, if you want a solution that's just going to work, it's going to be easy to use, that's reusable, that anyone from, you know, young children to older adults, everyone in the house can use, I have a solution for you. So notice how it builds. And Notice the time here, we're at about one minute in right now, and he's gonna now go into stats about children and how many children die a year. And it's it's you could make the argument that that's a little manipulative going for that, you know, really tugging at the heartstrings. I think in this case, it's fair and it's effective because it's true. And, you know, so many fires are preventable. And if you have, you know, 500 children dying a year and some of those fires are preventable, that's, that's a sad stat. It does get a little, it does feel a little maudlin with the music and everything and the, oh, you won't, they won't get a chance to grow up and have their own children. I actually don't think that piece is actually necessary. I think this video is powerful enough on its own that that could have been removed, but I don't think it necessarily detracts either in this case. So let's, let's look at that. 500 children die each year in house fires. You can't sacrifice their chance to grow up, to have lives, to have kids of their own using methods that only might work you need something that's recommended by firefighters across the country that so now boom we go right to the solution you need something recommended by firefighters across the country like who better to recommend a fire safety product than a firefighter so there's a ton of cachet in having this person do the video and talking about the fact that this is something that is supported by fire you know fire firemen and fire women firefighters <laughs> throughout the country so we're going to keep going now that's safe and works every time. <laughs> this is the emergency fire blanket from Prepared Hero. And notice how just the, the tenor changes too. Now you might think that that's a little bit, you know, silly or whatever, and that that's okay. It's it's you're writing the words if you're a copywriter, but notice how he just does like, you know, does the, the whip in and the music changes and everything. But we're going from the serious, hey, you got a problem, feeling uncomfortable, to the like, hey, I got a solution and it's really easy and jazzy and you're gonna feel so great using it. So I do think that this is extremely effective. Um, we're going to keep going. When there's a small fire, pull the blanket out by its tabs, cover the fire with the blanket, and it's out. No complicated instructions, no gambling your family's future on unreliable remedies. It just works. Now, here's a great example of I don't think this copy would be as effective if it didn't have the visuals and the video supporting it because to really understand how this product works, you need that demonstration. You need to see that demo of him pulling it out, putting it over the pot with the fire and seeing how quickly it goes out. So that could be kind of hard, even with the best copy in the world or even with illustrations or some images to really, to really see and feel without video. So I think that especially for this product. And that's probably why this they run the ads on Facebook, the native advertising, is because you can have these videos to really support and demonstrate how this product works. Um, so let's keep going. Every time. The blanket's fiberglass-based lining shields you from burn risk. It's reusable so it can save you money and protect the environment. And unlike some methods that might be too complicated or unsafe for some family members, everybody, you, grandparents, kids, everybody can stop a fire and save your own. So now it's going into like the features benefits, like how, why this, this product is so much better than the traditional fire extinguisher or baking soda and talks about the bona fides, like what it's made out of and how it can protect you, you know, as you're using it, how easy it is to use, whether you're a child or an adult or older and that fact that it's reusable. I think that's important because I think when I first saw this, you know, I was like, do you just use it once then you have to, you know, get rid of it? No, you can, you can reuse it, reuse it, reuse it, which is great. Um, and it's better for the environment. So using all of these, you know, just to make it even more persuasive, you know, I'm already sold, but the fact that, hey, I can reuse it, it's easy to use, anyone can use it, it's better for the environment, it's, you know, it's it's just, it's, it, it, you know, I was sold, as you can tell. You can disagree with me, that's fine, we're going to keep going. 
Hang the fire blanket on a wall, inside a cupboard, or wherever a fire might occur, so you're always prepared to handle an emergency within seconds. The emergency fire blanket is NSF certified and was researched and developed by a team of emergency response professionals dedicated to crafting the best home fire solution available for your family. After being introduced in 2019, it was quickly applauded by thousands of passionate consumers happy to finally have a fire safety tool that is fast, effective, and easy to use. Friday night, we were enjoying a bonfire and the fire got way out of control. Thank goodness I had the emergency fire blanket or else it would have been a total disaster. Okay, so now we're going into testimonials, that social proof. Real people, I don't know if these are real real people or not. Um, it's quite possible that they're taking real testimonials, like words that people have said in reviews and maybe they're using an actor. I don't know, or maybe these are real people. I was looking for a disclaimer, I don't know. But that's always extremely effective when you're talking about the solution portion, not just saying, hey, we've got the best product, but actually having other people, real customers say, hey, this is the best product. So I had this problem and this product solved my solution or this service solved my my solution or this candidate is going to solve all of our problems, you know, if you're writing for a political cause. So let's keep going. It's like magic. I couldn't believe how fast it put out the fire. We went from a potential disaster to being right back in front of the TV watching our movie in just a couple minutes. It was amazing. As a firefighter who loves his family, as I'm sure you know yours, I urge you to get this life-saving tool for yourself and give them as gifts. They'll appreciate your looking out for their safety. Take advantage now of the opportunity to get a bundle pack at a discounted price. You'll be glad you did. Click below for availability and stay safe. And there you have it. It ends with the call to action, the offer. So the CTA, as we say in the biz, where you give people an enticing offer of a you know, certain percentage off the bundle. And as, as you know, I, I, I did that. So there you have it, copywriting, PAS, problem, agitation, solution. Um, it's a very, like I said, a very common framework. You might be doing it just naturally, which makes sense because as humans, when we have a problem and oftentimes that's the first thing you wanna think about, you know, if you're writing copy for a client, think about the ideal customer and the problem you're solving for them with your client's product or service. And then you can reverse engineer by talking about what the problem is, getting them uncomfortable, and then quickly relieving that discomfort. That's the key. And you know how you do that takes some finesse and you know, you'll have to practice. And not everything is gonna be as straightforward as fire, which is a problem and the existing solutions really don't work. And here's our great solution. Like this is just a really, this kind of sold itself and set up itself perfectly for this copywriting PAS format. Not everything is going to do that, but it's an extremely effective format when you can use it and do it well. Some things to keep in mind. You don't ever want to be manipulative um, when you are, you know, coming up with the solutions or talking about the problems. You always want to be honest and authentic. You don't want to over oversell something or create make a problem bigger than it seems, I don't think you should. I mean, obviously different writers will have different perspectives and we've all seen advertising that has feels like it's over the top talking, making a big, you know, a, a mountain out of a molehill. So I always feel you need to be honest and authentic, but even small problems in our lives can be, you know, aggravating and that perfectly, you know, instead of agitation, maybe it's aggravating, you know, you have a problem, it's aggravating. Well, we got a solution for that. So you know, that's how you have to think about it. And again, it can work really well for advertising, for video scripts, for whether it's a YouTube video or an ad. Um, it can work for blog posts. It can wait, work great for case studies. I usually do my case studies in the problem, you know, agitation solution type format. So there you have it, copywriting PAS. And now I'm gonna hand it back over to myself and see. And there you have it, copywriting P-A-S. What did you think of my example? Agree, disagree? That's okay if you don't agree. You can share your comments below and we can play nice in the sandbox. Or if you have a great example of copywriting P-A-S in action, I'd love to see it. Include a link below. And if you got anything out of this video, give us a thumbs up because that helps us out. I am Robin the Copy Bitch and I will see you on the next video. Bye.